guys, Mix here, and as you guys can tell from the title and thumbnail, today is finally the day. Now, over my entire YouTube career, I guess you could say, I have always worked right here with this table and this little sand spot. Everything I basically worked on and made was right here. Whether it be summer, winter, spring, fall, all the seasons I was out here working on this and yes I was very hot during the summers and very cold during the winters but all of that is finally about to change. Now before I show you guys the new shop and for me this is a shop you know because I'm gonna be working in this um, others might say it's not a shop but for me it's a shop. But before I show it to you guys I just want to thank you all so much for all the support that you guys have given me over my entire YouTube making career and it has just been awesome because all of the toys and the shop that I'm about to show you guys would not be possible without all of you. So I just want to thank you all so much and there's a bright future ahead. So right now, the shop, which I'm looking at right now, <laughs> I keep looking over at it. I can't stop. It's so beautiful. Right now, it's not painted or sided or anything. It, it just got finished built yesterday. So I am going to be setting it up in today's video as well. But today I'm just going to show it to you guys. I'll tell you guys a little bit about it. Maybe we'll move, start moving some stuff in and yeah. I think it's about time. One more thing. So if you guys have noticed in the past couple videos, the, you haven't seen the bikes at all uh, in the backyard. Usually I've, I've had to keep them outside because I had nowhere else to put them. You know, I had, I had them under tarps and everything and you guys know that, but that is because some of you all have uh, probably seen the shed, you know, forever. And now all the bikes have a home. It's pretty messy right now because I'm going to be moving, you know, the toolbox and all the tools and everything into their new shop. but or shed but all the bikes and everything are in here protected from the elements but now it is time let's go ahead and show you all all right i'm standing right in front of it and here it is So this is the shop. So sorry if it's pretty dark right now. It is pretty dark out and inside of here is obviously dark because there's no lights yet. But I'll show you guys around right now. This is a eight wide by 12 long uh, shed. It has a whole loft, which is sick. Like I can even lay up here. So if I really wanted to lay up here, I could. It has a nice and sturdy workbench. I can mount my grinder, uh, put some of my toolboxes over here. And then another shelf up here to maybe either put like, you know, carb cleaner or any other miscellaneous items up there. Nice little window, little window up there. But I mean, this is it. And for me, this is awesome like this is really like huge for me personally i think this is plenty of enough room to get videos done and work in it may not seem that big on camera but it is it's actually a pretty nice size so i'm pretty stoked on that but i'm gonna be putting lights all up here i already have them uh, i just need time to put them in and i'm probably gonna do one that hangs down too so it's gonna be very well lighted in here that's for sure then i'm gonna run electric i'm gonna have a little space heater it's gonna be real nice and then i'll probably end up just putting my big toolbox uh, just like right here in the corner uh, it looks like it'll actually be pretty flush with the wall because it looks just about the same width. So guys, I don't have enough time uh, today, uh, I don't have enough sunlight to start tricking out the new shed. So I'm going to catch you guys back again tomorrow and we'll start working on this thing, moving the stuff in and getting it ready to make some vids. So see you guys then. Alrighty guys, so we're back here the next day and as you guys can see behind me, I have the lights that I'm going to be hanging up on the wall everywhere and I also have my little portable heater so it's nice and warm in here so first thing i do want to go ahead and do today is go ahead and start with the lighting and then once we're done with that i can bring in the toolboxes and everything and get everything good to go with that so let's go ahead open that up see how it looks i mean i think it's pretty easy it was on like amazon 40 bucks and it, it's supposed to be really really good so let's see how they are all right guys so let's get to uh taking these out of the box or if it's a little dark it should be uh, way brighter once these are set up I don't think it came with any directions, but it seems pretty self-explanatory. So it looks like that these just wires connect the uh, the lights together, and then these are like the main power switches right here. 
a plug into the wires and then an outlet or extension cable, connectors, both like the mounts. Yeah, it seems pretty simple, so let's get started with this. First off, what I'm probably gonna do is uh, just put them all where I want them. And what's really good about this is if I put one half, one side of the beam here and one side there, they both touch, so that is awesome. So it should be pretty in easy installation. Once I put them all where I want, then I'll worry about wiring and everything like that, so. Let's start adding these lights. So as you guys just saw, I only have four lights up right now. I still have two left. I'm gonna try and see what it looks like like this for now. And then I'll see if I need to put maybe anything uh, in the middle, across anywhere, or over the bench. But I just wanna test this out because I don't want it to be like too bright. But I'll try this out right now. I just need to put on the, uh, like the power cord and then run it to the outlet. So I'll do that right now and then see if I need to even add the two extra ones. Alrighty guys, so have my extension cord ran, and now let's see how it looks. <laughs> uh, oh my god, wait a minute. <laughs> well, this one looks pretty good. Must be a bad connection or something. And I totally forgot to connect this side to this side. Alright, we'll be back in a sec. Alright guys, so uh, the reason that this one wasn't lighting up is because this one wasn't plugged in all the way. Um, so that one lit up and now what I just did is connected this one and then I made one that goes across So the workbench would be nice and lit up and then connected to this side I can't believe I forgot to connect this side, but now I want to test it out and see how it looks Wow, oh my god <laughs> guys, this is awesome. Wow. This is really good lighting. So I don't think I need a Middle one. I have one more left. I mean I could maybe go like diagonal uh, in the middle, but I don't want it to be too much like I said before, so I think I might just keep it like this for now because this is uh, plenty enough lighting. It is really good in here. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and plug up the uh, loose ends, all the ones that aren't plugged in, which is just the end of this one, uh, so nothing gets in there. I'll clear up the mess, then we'll get to doing uh, the rest of the stuff. All right, so now that we have the lighting all good to go in here, I do want to go ahead and get the heat going in here because I am freezing. So let's go ahead and take out my Mr. Heater Tough Buddy. And no, this is not sponsored. So this is just a little um, propane heater. It's indoor safe, so I won't be uh, going on fire in here, but basically just click it in, ignite it, and you're warm. So I'm just going to use one of these small little propane uh, tanks for the heater. So I'm going to go ahead, plug it in right now, and see how it works. So we got the heater going right now. It's getting off some pretty good heat, so I'm going to let it warm up. And then while it's warming up in here, I'm just going to sweep the floor and everything. And then once I do that, the toolboxes are coming in. The shed will basically be ready to be worked in. Alrighty guys, so it is actually a couple hours later from the last clip, and it is now completely dark outside, and the lighting in here is extremely good like check that out so now that i know how good it is here uh at night i can go ahead and put away the extra light so and now i know that i don't need it and if one of these were to break it's good that we have an extra one uh so we can just replace it real quick and i won't have to buy a new one We're back here the next day, once again, and it is currently like seven degrees outside, but the feel like temperature is negative 13. So it's pretty cold. I got my heater going right now. The propane tank is freezing. Hopefully it doesn't cause any issues, but I've been having it going for a little bit and it is beginning to heat up a little bit in here. But as you guys can see behind me, I went ahead and brought in uh, my toolboxes and the big toolbox. And check out this clearance. I was thinking that hopefully it would fit under the workbench and it does just barely. Like, look at that. Like, it was meant to be. So, the majority of the tools are in here. I have the two bench grinders and everything, so I'm probably going to need an extension cable to uh, run those. But, I mean, this is mostly everything, so... 
I am probably gonna bring in, you know, a couple more things here and there, uh, just over the time that I find stuff, but this is pretty much the main tools. But for this side of the shelf, I wanna go ahead and take out all of this, all of these like chemicals and everything that I have in this big drawer so I can fit uh, other stuff in here because right now it is super unorganized. And I'm pretty sure most of these are empty anyway. So let's go ahead and do that, uh, throw out the ones that are all empty so I know which fluids we have and which ones I need. putting on uh, all the chemicals and stuff that I have. I'm pretty sure I have more stuff, but I definitely do need uh, some more like carb clean and stuff like that. All of these were just sitting in the toolbox and they're all empty and don't work. The only working spray I have is this WD-40, so you have to make an AutoZone run to get more of all of this. But anyway guys, I'm gonna be ending the video here. Let me know what you guys think of the new shed slash shop. I love it. I think I just need to get the heat situation a little fixed because uh, it is taking a while to warm up and it is still really cold in here so either this propane tank is like empty or maybe I need more than one of these or maybe just a bigger heater. Other than that, I mean this is awesome. And once again, thank you guys so much for just watching the videos and supporting me and so you can make awesome builds happen and stuff like this happen so and one last thing if you guys enjoyed the music from the first little montage of when i showed you guys the shed that was by a band called american mile um they are a up and coming band so if you guys want to check them out definitely do uh their links will be in the description below and definitely go check them out but anyway guys thanks for watching please subscribe like comment share your friends about the channel